Hey everyone, I've got a quick but fun one for you today. Today we're going to be talking about style swapping, which enables you to do clothing swapping and, you know, like virtual try-ons or putting branding labels on whatever you'd like to in an image. Um, so we'll jump right into it. So if you're on Windows and you already have ComfyUI installed, you can just hop right to the workflow section. If you are on, using cloud or Linux, you might want to stick around for the shell script install um, but we'll go through the shell script install first and then we'll go through the workflow after that so on my patreon i have a recent post for clothing swap in painting if you are just going to the workflow just download the json file if you want to install this on cloud or on linux then you can download the sh file and go from there so let's download the sh file first Okay, and then we're just going to drag that into our run pod environment. By the way, the run pod specs, all you're, all you're going to need is, you'll probably only need about 100 gigabytes of space. I have a little extra buffer built in here. 20 gigabytes of container volume, and then depending on which flux you use, you may need up to, you know, 16 to 24 gigabytes of VRAM, uh, but you might be able to use a G you might be able to replace flux fill with a, a gguf model and run on less ram okay so those are requirements i'm already connected through jupyter lab and i just downloaded the shell script and put it into the environment so actually one one thing before we run it there is a hugging face token required in here for the flux models so in order to get that hugging face token you need to go to hugging face and then go to your access tokens and then from your access tokens if you don't already have tokens created create a new token you just need to read token and then hit create token so before we jump into the workflow i just wanted to show you where to get all of the models that'll be necessary so one that you'll need is flux one fill dev this is like an in-painting model the other one you'll need is Flux Redux. So this kind of copies the style. I actually need to agree to this to use this one. But this copies the style from whatever source and includes it in the destination. And then you'll need Flux One Dev, obviously. Um, actually, you don't even technically need this. You really only need Flux One Fill and Flux One Redux. But if you wanted to generate any subjects to or any images to um, to paste style over, you could use Flux. The last thing that you'll need is this SIG clip. I'll link this in the description below, but this is a clip vision model. Okay, so grab that API token after you've accepted the terms of service, go back here and paste it over this. So you're gonna get like a random string like this, hit replace all, and then you'll be good to download. Okay, so to run the install script, we do bash install in paint clothes.sh. And then this will run for five to 10 minutes. And when it's done, we'll be good to go. Okay, so we are all installed. To connect, if you're on RunPod, just go to your port 3000. Okay. So here is our workflow. The most important part of this workflow is these two boxes right here and then this masking group right here. So we'll start off with these two boxes. All right, we'll start off with this one. So I have this guy, he's dressed very formal and I want to put some yoga pants on him because I think it would be funny. So have the picture of the guy, I have these yoga pants and the only other thing that I need to do is come down here and do the masking. So how this works is the first prompt up here for Florence to, to do masking is going to mask uh, whatever you want. You could do a person, you could do a shirt, you could do wh whatever you want. These next two other ones are going to subtract from the mask. So if you set a person up here in this one, 
let's just, we can just try it. If you set a person up here and then you say you subtract hair and face and you subtract pants, or actually let's subtract shirt um, and shoes. Then in our resulting mask, we should just get pants, right? Because we masked the person and then we said to remove the hair and face part of that mask. And then we said to remove the shirt and shoes from the mask. So what should be left from the person is their pants. Let's see if that works. We may need to mask out the neck, but we'll, we'll find out. All right. And the last thing we need to do is you can just update this prompt. It's actually not even really necessary, but I think it helps just guide. It's just another thing to guide the, uh, the model. Okay. So that's like five things to update the model picture, the clothes you want to put on him, the three prompts one prompt to do a mask and then two prompts to subtract from that mask and then the prompt for what you are in painting and florence too will take a second to load the or the first time you run this okay so you can see we had a little bit of a problem here when i masked shirt and shoes it gave me the whole person so that means i'm i have this mask and I'm subtracting the same mask from it, which is why I get this like kind of blank blurry mask. Okay, so let's try just masking out the shirt. I'm not gonna care about the shoes for right now. All right, so you can see how, how good of a job this did, right? The, I mean, it even put the mannequin feet on him because I didn't mask out the shoes, but you know, they're, they're yoga pants and he was wearing a, a nice suit before. Um, it even changes the style of the pants, right? The pants before were like a little bit baggy and it made the pants tighter instead. All right, so that's one application here. Um, let's just do a shirt real quick. I'll show you the results from a shirt. All right, so I have this old lady and i want her to wear this sh shirt that says artificial rules okay so i am going to this time i want to mask i'm actually gonna just tell it to mask the shirt and belt which should hopefully mask this whole you know outfit up top and then for subtracting i'm just gonna say like neck and hair and we'll we'll just make we're just making sure that like nothing outside of the shirt is masked all right so you can see we get a, a great mask here this should give us a pretty good result all right so really solid generation here i mean it doesn't know what her arms look like but i mean it did a pretty good job of you know, taking a guess, it matched up the skin color pretty nicely. Maybe it could have made the hands a little bit more wrinkly, but uh, a great result. And you will notice a little bit of blurring in the background. You can see it kind of around here. Um, to get rid of that, all we need to do is run it through an upscale and, and it'll get rid of that blurring, no problem. That's just from, from the mask it not being able to absolutely perfectly match the background. But you can notice on, on this side, you can barely even see the mask. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you is that we can do in painting, not on clothes. We can do it on, you know, some other subject. So I have this image of a, just a, a, a blank canvas here. And I want to put the artificial logo on it. So I'm going to put the logo in. Now the one change we need to be able to we need to make to be able to do this is we need to bypass this background removal node. If we run it on this, it may remove the the blue background and only leave the the light blue. But um, I want the canvas to be blue with the light blue logo in the middle. So let's 
Um, and then, so in order to do this one, we'll need to put a blank white canvas in the, this is going to be what the base mask is. And then we have, we'll say walls. Um, maybe we just say walls twice and we'll see what that gives us. All right, so we get that like pretty perfect square that we're looking for. All right, so you can see it. I mean, I put it right over there pretty perfectly. Um, the logo doesn't match absolutely exactly. This does tend to have some trouble with abstracts, but I, I would bet you if I ran this three times, I would get one that is pretty perfect. Okay, so here's your before and after. All right, so really the only tricky part about this workflow is understanding how this masking works, understanding that the top is the is the base and then these other two masks are just subtracting from that base layer. So you can see like we subtracted out the wall. There was there was no wall originally, but anyways, but we subtracted out the wall for good measure and we're left with just the canvas. Okay, so quick, quick video today. Uh, I hope I hope you have fun with this workflow. This one's a ton of fun. You can throw your logo on whatever you want. You can switch clothes in all funny different ways. If you have not checked out the Discord yet, head over there and check it out. We are sharing new models in there all the time. There's tips and tricks being shared. Um, and follow my other socials. Follow my Patreon. The workflow for this was out a couple of days ago. So if you want first access to workflows and install scripts, join up over there. And that's it for today. I hope to talk to you again next time.